provide some ideas for what to say and what not to say to someone who is grieving. Um, you guys probably know it, probably from experience. Um, you know, I think it's important not to be directive. Uh, we, no matter, even if we've all experienced at our age grief in some form, but um, none of us know how it feels to that person depending on the loss and the situation. So I think it's, uh, and I'll give you an example of my very first care receiver was a young widow. And we got along great. I thought it was it was uh, going well. But probably six months into the process, and it had been uh, very traumatic for her. And um, I said to her one day in one of our meetings, it's amazing how well you're doing. I'm so thrilled. Um, she went and talked to uh, Kay Harvey, uh, the director of congregational care, to complain about me, uh, assuming I knew how she was doing. Never my intention, but you just don't realize how those things are perceived. So, you know, it became a good conversation. Kay talked to me about it, and, and then we, the care receiver and I, were able to talk about it. But so you just don't make those assumptions because it was certainly innocent on my part, and um, the relationship proceeded for probably another six months. So it, it went fine, but it was uh, a wake-up call for me um, in the way that people hear things that you say. Anybody else? Mike? I was just looking through a book today um, by Joe Penn called The Gift of Presence, yeah. which is all about how to talk or listen, you uh -huh. can say, to someone who's grieving, so it's a great um, Opportunity to, to everybody has that book. I believe it's yeah. To you it's a great resource. It's, it's an awesome, awesome. Yeah, it's a good one to revisit periodically. Do you, do you, uh, I had a personal experience shortly after my husband died. Uh, someone said to me, "Oh, I guess you must be in the angry stage now, uh, given the fact that you know there are stages of grief." And they kind of thought through the timeline and thought, okay, well, she's done this, this, you know, she's probably angry. And I thought, you don't have a clue. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, true. So it's the same, same kind and of thing. And you thought, now I'm angry. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so, but, um, you, you just, you can't assume mm -hmm. how someone's feeling. And she appeared, obviously, to be doing very well to you. but. Um, you know, that's sometimes that's just the act you put on to get through your day. Yeah. And so, yeah, I understand. And I could see, at that point, we had a meeting six months, I could see a huge difference from the woman I met at six months prior to that day. It still was not appropriate for me to make that comment. Well, but you had seen progress, but maybe she wasn't feeling it. Sure, exactly. Uh -huh. Yeah, I agree. And Kubler-Ross tells us that there are five stages of grief, but since Kubler-Ross, there are there are many different um, people that have studied the stages of grief and have actually added a few more. Um, and what I'll tell you is that you, in grief, um, you don't necessarily go through those stages, you know, one by one. You, you might skip and, and then, oh gosh, you're going back because you've been triggered. And so grieving is very fluid. And, um, and when people say that you grieve in waves, you certainly do. Um, and the best thing to do is to allow that person to be. And whatever they're, wherever they're at, you just love them where they're at. Um, that's probably the best advice and to be present and to listen and not to assume anything, not, uh, and, you know, but um, it's difficult. Grief is, grief is so personal and so big, so, um, and I think both Ann and I, it, because of what we've done with hospice, if you ever have a situation where you're in a situation like this and you have a question about something with a grieving person, um, I think both of us might be able to give you some guidance um, if you have questions. So we're resources that you can come to. So, not that we're experts, but we certainly have, have, have dealt with 
um, grief in a very personal way as a professional.